hi, welcome to my channel at Bobby's Girl Tarot 444. These are going to be ancestral messages and advice for earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. So um, these are going to be general messages. Take only what resonates for you and leave what does not because they won't be for every earth sign. I'm going to do a uh, group each one, earth, fire, air, water. So um may have to check other signs. You have other placements. So let's see what messages the ancestors have for the earth signs. We have uh, see things from a higher perspective here with the eagle. Time to take flight. Time to move forward, okay? Also using your third eye, using that intuition here. We have take time to reflect earth signs, okay? Time to look within. It's time to see something from a higher perspective right now. Do some reflection. Some of you may be in hermit mode. I hear that mirror song by uh, Michael Jackson here for you. The man in the mirror. So we need to take a step, step back right now. Stape. Okay. I don't know where that came from, but... Some of you just need to take a step back right now and look within and see things from a higher perspective. Get a different um, view, a higher view. Some of you may be flying, okay, at this time, possibly for work here. We have Ignite Your Passions coming out. So uh, Earth Signs, your ancestors are asking you to uh, go within. And what makes you happy here? Put your artistic skills to, uh, or whatever skills you have, creative skills here to, uh, fruition here. Get them going, get moving, seeing things from a different uh, point of view now. Ignite your passion, what makes you happy. Unleash the wild within. Some of you need to get a little bit crazy and have a little bit of fun. Okay, maybe you've been stagnant for a while and have been reflecting and they're saying, okay, it's time to unleash the wild within. Get out Ignite your passions. They're saying uh, intend and create. Intend and create. So uh, make a plan here. See, getting that higher perspective. Make a plan and following through with it, okay? Color browns could be significant for you, earth signs, and that's just staying grounded here. Work on your foundation. And that's not only your home foundation, that's foundation within your mind, body, and soul. Some of you may have um, Indian, um, of Indian descent or um, Native American descent here, or you have uh, Native American blood. We have um, dream and journey. So yeah, follow your dreams and take that journey. Take that leap of faith and ignite your passions. Unleash that wild. March to the beat of your, of your own drum, okay? Marching to the beat of your own drum here, Earth Signs. So they want you to dream. And also I hear dream big. So whatever your dreams are, dream bigger than that. Some of you may be attracted to dream catchers. Or you have a lot of dream catchers, or you um, like a uh, Indian and um, beads and uh, tap tapestries, from what I'm hearing, like the, the rugs and the different cloths. Okay, we have exchange energy to create abundance here. So exchanging with one another, you know, giving and receiving here in order to create this abundance and love and let yourself be loved. Open this heart chakra. Allow your passions to be ignited. We have trust your talents in changing times, okay? So uh, trust that you have these talents and enjoy success and happiness with the sun coming out, following your happiness here. Trust it. Trust to open your heart and allow your allow these passions here to, uh, to, to flow out. You know, don't be afraid. Don't hold, don't live in fear, you know, because you have gifts that are, uh, that need to be seen, obviously, be devoted and committed, you know, don't like release the fear.
Some of you are just being really sly right now with your moves. We have listen. You have to be willing to listen if you want to really understand someone. Now's not the time to be offering advice, but to be compassionate listener. To listen fully and intently means to pay attention, not to just what's being said, but to what lies beneath the word. Okay, so listening right now. Listening to yourself, I hear too. Time to reflect and listen within. We have soul solitude. Your soul needs attention. There are moments when it's important to get away, not just from the noise of the outside world, but to find a place where your soul can experience peace and quiet, a place for soul solitude. This is a time to pause, a time to reflect, a time for you. Solitude, like I said, time to reflect here, going within, listening to your uh, intuition and getting that higher perspective. I can't make this stuff up here, Earth Signs. Let's see if I can get a couple more for you. Some of you have been watching quite a bit of TV or uh, if you've been on your electronics lately, you need to put those down. That's what they're saying. That's confusing you also. You're spending too much time on your electronics. Take a moment. Stop. It's not the time to rush into the decision you're about to make. Before this important decision is made, take a moment to pause and quiet your mind so you can ask your soul for guidance before you act or move forward. So take this moment to pause and reflect and go within. See this lady here? She's going within. She's got her eyes closed and she's listening, okay? Transformation and change. All right, we have gratitude. So they, your um, ancestors here want you to uh, have gratitude. Life is one big continuous circle of giving and receiving energy. That's the second confirmation on giving and receiving of the energy. Be thankful for who and what's in your life instead of complaining about what you don't have. If you focus on gratitude, you'll start to attract prosperity and abundance. So being more thankful here um, for what we have. Some of you need to pray. Okay, or whoever you pray to, just uh, showing that gratitude to the universe for the blessings and the abundance that's coming into your way or what you already have available to you. We have trust. While your logical mind is dictating a supposedly clear direction, your soul's inner guidance is urging you to follow an alternative path. The logical path, logical path may be one that you consider safe and more familiar but you could be missing out on boundless opportunities and so much more. So trust within yourself here. Um, you may be more inclined to take the logical path, but um, because it's safer, because it's something that you're used to here. But you, if you don't get out of your comfort zone, what it's saying is that you're going to miss out on um, boundless opportunities. So trust, have faith in the universe, okay? Okay, we have just ask coming out. So they want you to ask. There are many here in the spirit world that can assist you at this time. We are made of the divine source, your loved ones, friends, guides, angels, and spirit helpers who are waiting to assist you. We are your spiritual team, and all you have to do is ask for help and guidance, okay? And if you've been seeing corn coins, I said corn, I think. I'm sorry. Um, maybe somebody's eating corn or will be eating corn today. So this could be for you. Uh, coins or uh, feathers, maybe a, a key. Maybe some of you have like misplaced your keys. If, if so, this message could be for you. Kind of like if that's a tendency thing for you to do, like lose your keys in the house or um, you left them in your car and you forgot about them here, okay? And also if you're seeing feathers, that, that could be a possibility. Also birds, they're saying ask. You know, just ask for help. Trust them. Trust your guides, your ancestors, that they're working with you and that they're always there. We have stand your ground. Standing your ground is an empowering confidence, building action to take time, to take from time to time. And now is the moment when you need to stand your ground. You know you can do it. You can know that by doing so, you will be the victor. You will be victorious here, standing up for yourself, your beliefs, and your values here, okay? What is important to you? what um what you hold precious and most dear to you which is yourself okay the most important thing 
And they're saying reach out. We know you are reaching out right now for help due to current situation. Support is as much as about the physical act of accepting help we're offered as it is about the emotional benefits and learning that it's truly okay to accept support however it's presented to you. So uh, be open to accept support from your guides, from your ancestors, from the universe, however that support is offered, okay? It may not be in the support that you're asking, okay? It may come in a different way. So they're saying just to be open to that, okay? All right. Some more advice for the earth signs here, what the ancestors want them to know. They're saying to release doubts, release the need to know all the answers here, earth signs. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, release the need to know all the answers. You know, um, y'all want to be investigators here. So, and it's saying you, you don't always have the answers. The universe isn't going to give you all the answers to your problems here. There's things that we need to figure out on their own, but we can't, we're never going to know all the answers, okay? Judgment, I understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges here. So, you know, placing judgment on yourself, placing judgment on others, realize that there's only one judge out there, okay? So um, everyone has their own unique abilities, unique path, and unique challenges that they need to go through um, in this lifetime here, the, that they're going to experience here, okay? We have worry. I am, enter I am entertaining, okay? So somebody's entertaining right now. I am learning that worry doesn't change the outcome. So yeah, release the need to know the answers, um, release that doubt, release the worry because this worry is a wasted emotion here. It's not going to uh, solve the problem or change the outcome. It is going to be what it is going to be, okay? You got a lot of purple and green and brown here, earth sign. So they maybe your colors here. We have empathy. I'm open to seeing both sides of a situation. That goes with seeing things from a higher perspective, okay? Showing empathy for others while showing empathy for yourself here. We have balance. I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world and I do so without judgment, okay? Right under judgment, we got balance. So bringing back into balance. And we have purpose coming out. I know that, I know what I'm here to do. So knowing your purpose, why you're here on this earth, what challenges that you have, what unique path that you have, and following on it, like I said, there's a lot of purples here. So communication, it's your thoughts, it's your ideas, it's what you put into action, okay? It's the difficulties, these challenges that you have to overcome. It's decisions that you have to make in order to come back into balance here. This is being inspired, your aspirations, okay? Having that willpower uh, for happiness, I am aware that being happy means that I'm on the right path, okay? Following your happiness here. Right. Okay, the ancestors want you to surrender to your fear of intimacy. You are ready to let love in, compassionately identify, and begin to release any patterns that are stopping you from opening your heart. Can't make this up. The heart guardian, love and let yourself be loved. Open your heart. Allow those uh, passions to ignite. Whether you're with someone or you're looking for love, okay? You're afraid of commitment. Okay, we have surrender to play. So take a break from overthinking a goal and do something fun. Play is a time of recreation and rejuvenation, okay? Getting out, grounding yourself. Get outside, um, go to the park if you can, depending on the weather here. But just uh, get out of your head, overthinking, clear your mind. Here, like an um, arcade game, so maybe you need to go to an arcade just to relax, maybe play some video games. If you can't get out, you know, just something to... Uh, a distraction here 
for play, you know, for fun, to bring a little more happiness and joy into your life. We have open to the magic of every moment and sense the all in wonder, all in life. The atti This attitude will help you connect to the ecstasy of flow, surrender to the wonder and awe of the world, okay? So the, all the beautiful things that are out there for us to experience here, okay? They said, surrender to unhealthy relationships. So let go of relationships that don't serve you, including unavailable or toxic people. You deserve to be treasured by others and to be surrounded by positive people. So let go of uh, those unhealthy relationships, toxic relationships, or um, people that are non-committal, okay? In order to, order to allow more love into your life, we have surrender the drama. No matter how emotionally charged the situation, remain calm and don't contribute to the drama. Staying centered will help resolve the issue more quickly, so get grounded, okay? As igniting uh, the she-wolf here, unleashing the wild within. I've got wolves around here, so wolves could be connected to you. Um, earth signs. This is also that animal instinct and that protection, you know, protecting yourself from that, not engaging, okay? They don't want you to engage. We have surrender your belief to uh, in sc scarcity. The universe is asking you to open to the infinite nature of abundance. And this way you can remove blocks in your life and succeed beyond your wildest dreams, okay? So um, surrender that relief of there's never going to be enough, okay? Or that lack mentality here, okay? There are that abundance not coming in, that negative thinking also. Some of you may be backpacking. If not, you like to, uh, to take nature walks or um, you connect very closely with nature and you need to get back in touch with that, okay? We have surrender to what is. Flow with what is instead of fighting it when you can't change a situation, compassionately accepting it and exactly as it is will bring you peace. So allowing more peace into your life and accepting what it is and surrendering your desire to control people. Um, being over controlling can sabotage your relationships, okay? So maybe you've dealt with a relationship or a partnership here that has had some type of self-sabotage. To more effectively achieve your goals, back off, regroup, and give the situation some breathing room. So like I said, don't don't engage, surrender the drama, surrender the unhealthy relationships, you know. Get out and have some fun and, you know, collect yourself, ground yourself a little bit more here. So this is uh, your ancestors' messages and, um, and advice for you, Earth Signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Hopefully they resonated with you. Uh, and if they did, let me know in the comments below. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for your love and support for this channel.